Good evening friends, welcome to Going to Ground with me Andrew Rumsey. Uh, it's Sunday evening and uh, I'm outside St Mary's Old Dilton which is uh, one of my favourite churches in Wiltshire and uh, posted here uh, previously. I'm just waiting to go in actually before uh, a special evensong uh, tonight here. They don't, don't hold many services um, because it's uh, looked after by the Church's Conservation Trust and there are just a few services a year here so I'm rather privileged to be uh, to be taking one of them tonight prayer book even song well um, it's said that the past is another country they do things differently there but uh, last Sunday evening is another country uh, with the momentous changes we have seen in the last few days even Thursday seems uh, extraordinarily far back. Uh, how curious time is in these elongated days since Her Majesty the Queen's death. And uh, I'm sure that you, like me, feel that deeply. And the profound sense of eras changing, history moving beneath our feet. The long Elizabethan age having drawn to a close and whether we have lived through the whole of that or only partly, whilst those who are alive, who have lived through it and indeed who have defined it, uh, whilst they're present with us, it is still somehow familiar to us. The past is part of the lived story, conversationally. There is a a living reference point and of course this is what people are feeling so deeply about the Queen's death is her own constancy as a symbol throughout our lifetimes and yet uh, of course when and now she has departed there is a curious suspension in the air uh, we sang after church this morning in Melksham the new version of the national anthem um, it felt awkward good momentous but uh, unfamiliar we've yet to sing that in a way that the clothes fit us if you see what I mean um, but the uh, the era has not really begun we feel suspended between eras for a while um, whatever we believe about monarchy, and this is what many people are saying, of course, is that this uh, both affection for the Queen and recognition of what she represented is uh, beyond um, individual political opinion. It's about the shape of context that we've lived in, the culture of our time and, and place. After church, I went to the uh, proclamation of the new King at Trowbridge County Hall, um, which felt like, sounded like a ceremony that should appear in a Thomas Hardy novel, really. I mean, without being flippant, and it wasn't, it was a beautiful and profound occasion, but uh, extraordinary to stand there and realize, along with others, that we were living in a time of pivotal historic change that. Uh, a few days ago, I would never have imagined uh, being present at announcement of the new king. Praying for God's blessing upon him, giving of three cheers, all of those ceremonial uh, tokens. But of course, none of us had been at such an occasion before. I was worried about what to wear and what to do and so on, but actually <laughs> consoled myself with the fact that no, nobody knows, because none of us, uh, just to repeat the point, have been here before. Everybody was encountering this afresh. And uh, therefore, as long as things were done well and with dignity and uh, appropriate sense of occasion, then all was well, and it was. Um, so I'm glad to come here for Evensong, um, because it will be a, a good end to uh, a day when I've been considering how time and place change. And uh, here is a place of permanence, settlement, 
of stillness and light. And uh, I look forward to giving the day to God. And I trust that this week in these uh, curious days will go well for you. And thank you for the comments that many of you have passed on about the future of going to ground. Many of you saying that you'd like it to continue. And here we are just about at the end of the fourth series. And uh, I would like that as well, but uh, we'll probably take a short break and then uh, reconvene and think about how we might, how we might do that. Uh, but thank you for being in touch and God bless you as ever, as you go to ground. <laughs>